The Greater Accra Regional Minister, Henry Kwarte, engaged former ministers of the region on Wednesday to deliberate issues regarding the transformation of the capital. According to him, it was an opportunity to also tap into the rich expertise of the former appointees to help his vision. During the engagement, the former ministers of Accra, Ishmael Ashite and Ni Ama Ashite, raised concerns over the lack of budgetary allocation to the regional coordinating councils. To have a vision of maybe turning a place into something or putting up a structure somewhere, you have to go either to beg a minister from uh, maybe a, a ministry or you have to go to the assembly if only the money they have raised is enough. To, to, to do that work, to, to talk to them so that the assemblymen and then the chief executive will have to understand you before that project can be taken. I think that, that, that does not look well. And government should start looking at giving out uh, or raising budget for uh, the regional administration. The assemblies as constituted are uh, resourced. And the coordinating, the, 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 the coordinating council is supposed to coordinate, monitor, and harmonize these assemblies. You can imagine supervising institutions which are very rich, <laughs> and yet you, don't, you have nothing. It's a problem. Henry Quarty announced the setting up of a regional consultative committee which would incorporate persons with adequate and diverse experiences to push his transformational agenda for the capital. Going forward, this group has come to stay, former regional minister's platform, with the members of Council of State joining. And uh, by the grace of God, I intend, as a matter of agency, coming up with the Regional Consultative Committee, which will comprise of uh, professionals, when I say so, somebody with a rich uh, land acquisition background, somebody with a rich financial background. We want to have all those, just like cabinets. And then they will meet maybe once or twice every month and begin to put together a working document for Accra. The regional minister also said that heavy security would be deployed to the coastal areas in Accra to ensure the strict compliance of the COVID-19 safety protocols during the Easter festivities. Collaboration with the ministries of the interior, whose mandate it is to protect lives and properties, and also to ensure that people abides by the laws governing this country. Um, and the IGP, we have met, and with that collaboration, I'm sending this warning to all, all of, everybody, to Friday, being Easter holiday, and Monday, please stay off the beaches. I repeat, please stay off the beaches. Well, the police will be there. And they have strict and strict instructions. If they find you there, well, you will talk to them. <laughs> if they find you at the beaches, you talk to them and they also talk to you.